Max Verstappen dominated news headlines in Brazil after the two-time F1 world champion failed to heed harmless team orders and returned sixth place to Sergio Perez after he was let through and didn't progress. It was a sad indictment on a dominant campaign in which he broke records for the most wins and most points in a single season. But while Verstappen's new era campaign will be written up as a tour de force, it didn't start so elegantly with retirements in Bahrain and Australia. The season maybe didn't start off that well, but then I think we recovered really well and we, we've been on a great run. I think, um, you know, the whole team really uh, came together and um, yeah, it's all about just trying not to make too many mistakes and be honored, of course, every single weekend. And that's why we have been able to, to win the amount of races we have won so far. Verstappen already held the records for youngest F1 start, the youngest winner, the youngest on the podium, youngest to set fastest lap and most wins before a maiden pole position. It's no surprise given Verstappen's path to F1 began with his father Jos and ruthless preparation, with Red Bull's Dr. Helmut Marko taking notice after he stepped up to F3, with just one year between his final card race and F1 test. Well, we had been in contact with Max and Jos Verstappen for quite a while. It was a surprise how quickly he adapted to Formula 3. And the moment where I thought that something really special was at Norris Rink, when he was in mixed conditions, it was more wet and dry, per lap two seconds and more quicker than anybody else. 2022 is Verstappen's sixth full season with Red Bull's top team, with the Dutchman locked in for the long haul until 2028. I think it was very important for us to have continuity. We've always been a great believer in continuity. And I think you know, having Max for the long term through the transition into 2026 with those new regulations, as we become an, uh, an engine manufacturer and supplier, uh, you know, it's fantastic you know, for us to have Max committed uh, for that transitionary period. Verstappen will likely have tougher competition next year from Mercedes and potentially Ferrari, making a third straight crown a tougher task. But the Dutchman's era looks here to stay. Manna from heaven for his ever-increasing orange army, who will be dancing in the stands for years to come. Thanks for watching. To stay up to speed on all things Formula One, make sure you hit the subscribe button.